Now for the weather from Bridgeport, Nebraska. It's cloudy with rain and a oh! chance of lightning. Oh my God! The car was just struck by lightning! Oh my God! This is storm chaser John Persons closely observing the awesome power of a million bolts of lightning. Oh! oh my God! Probably one of the best things about the video is his reaction to getting hit by lightning. He absolutely freaks out. Oh! oh my God! So why has the lightning come down to Earth through John's car? In lightning, you create a large amount of voltage which is generated in the clouds. And this creates a lightning bolt which feels its way to ground. As it's feeling its way to ground, it sees John's car with its antenna sticking out. This is a great path to ground. So it reroutes itself to the car and all the energy in the lightning bolt flows through the antenna, through the car, to ground. A ham radio antenna, this is what's left of it. As you can see, this is, uh, this is pretty bright. This will be, uh... John's car is toast, but why isn't he? Really John survives because the electricity will flow through the metal car instead of through John's body, because that's a better path to ground. All human bodies are conductive, but they're not nearly as conductive as metal is. We can get hit by lightning and killed by lightning, but compared to a car, we're not very good at conducting electricity. So the car will always come worse off. So is it safer to stay in your car during an electrical storm? The moral of the story is, if you're trapped in a thunderstorm, one of the best places to be is inside your car with the door shut. Let the lightning hit the outside of your car and it'll go away instead of standing outside and getting hit by lightning.